Welcome to Mathematics with M's, Grade 10, Algebraic Expressions, Factorization of Quadratic Trinomials. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Quadratic Trinomials. Consider the product x plus a times x plus b. Now, by multiplying out, it is clear that this product will become x squared plus ax plus bx plus ab. And of course, ax plus bx can be factorized, and you take out x as a common factor, and you get a plus bx. Now take note that x squared is a coefficient of 1. So the expression x squared plus a plus bx plus ab can be factorized as x plus a and x plus b. For example, the trinomial x squared plus 7x plus 12 can be factorized as follows. Write the last term 8 as the product of two numbers. The options are 1 times 12, 3 times 4, 2 times 6. The middle term a plus b is now obtained by adding the numbers of one of the above options. The obvious choice will be the option 3 times 4, because the sum of the numbers 3 and 4 gives you 7. Therefore, x squared plus 7x plus 12 is the same as x squared plus 3 plus 4x plus 3 times 4. There you are. So the five factors for x squared plus 7x plus 12 is therefore x plus 3 times x plus 4. So the strategy to, factori to factorizing quadratic trinomials is as follows. Number one, write down the last term as the product of two numbers. Find the two numbers using the appropriate numbers from one of the products, which gets the coefficient of the middle term by adding or subtracting. Check that when you multiply these numbers, you get the last term. Let's look at the first example A there, x squared plus 5x minus 36. So the last term can be written as the following products, either 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 4 times 9, or 6 times 6. We now need to get a positive 5 from one of the options above. So using 4 times 9 will enable us to give, give us a positive 5. So a negative 4 and a positive 9 will give us a positive 5 which is the coefficient of the middle term, and of course also negative 4 times 9 is a negative 36, which is the last term, so it works. So therefore, x squared plus 5x minus 36, the factors are x minus 4, x plus 9. Let's look at b, x squared minus 5x plus 6. The last term can be written as the following products, 3 times 2 and 1 times 6. We now need to get the middle term, which is a negative 5, from one of the options above. So try the option 3 times 2. Now clearly, a negative 3 plus a negative 2 is a negative 5, which is the coefficient of the middle term. And a negative 3 times a negative 2 is a positive 6, which is the last term. So notice that the option 1 times 6 will not work, because even though 1 minus 6 is minus 5, is the coefficient of the middle term. But if you multiply, 1 times minus 6 is a negative 6, and it is not the last term. So therefore, x squared minus 5x plus 6, the factors are x minus 3, x minus 2. Let's look at example C. 3a squared minus 21a minus 24. Now here it is necessary to take the to, to first take out the highest common factor, and it is namely 3. So there you are, 3 equals to 3 into a squared minus 7a minus 8. So the last term of the trinomial in the brackets can be written as following. 8 is 1 times 8, or 4 times 2. Now the option 1 times 8 will work, because a 1 and a negative 8 gives me a negative 7, which is the coefficient of the middle term. And also, Positive 1 times negative 8 is negative 8, which is the last term. So therefore, it is working. So therefore, the factors are then 3 into a plus 1 times a minus 8. Take note. If the sign of the last term of the trinomial is negative, 
the sign in the brackets are different. If the sign of the last term of a trinomial is positive, the signs in the bracket are the same. That is, both positive or both negative. Please look, look at this exercise. It is important for you to work through the exercise and then the answers will appear on the next page. It is important that you must work through the examples before you look at the solutions. Mark your work and make double sure you can do it. Good luck. Right, this is Mathematics with M's. I hope you've liked this video. Please give me a huge like and subscribe. And again, remember, subscription is free.